Hi there. For my entry into the 3D printer competition, I decided to try and follow the easiest wind turbine you'll ever make video from the channel. Uh, so I've tried to keep track of basic mistakes I made um, and little pointers to make it easier for anyone else who's trying to do it. So the first thing I did was I got the fans from a local scrapyard. Uh, $10 for two of them. All it took was a 10 millimeter socket uh, multimeter to give them a quick test to make sure that they weren't broken. Um, yeah, very easy. I found them in the literally the second car in the whole lot out of hundreds of cars, so anyone could do it. So first mistake I made was that I should have taken the connector as well. Uh, so I got one end of the pigtail connector when I pulled it out of the car, but I should have taken the other one so I can hook it into whatever system I build around this. Um, also, try to avoid fins on the end of the blades because they'll, you'll have to break them off and they just get in the way. So now the next thing I did, I noticed was the tilt on the blades on mine were the opposite to yours in the video, Robert. So I just have to keep that in mind when I'm making my blades. So yeah, that's what I did next. Uh, plenty of mistakes here. I, I ended up making two sets of blades. So I'll call this the version one blades. So the first mistake is despite noticing that my blades were tilted the opposite way, I still made the mistake of cutting them the wrong way somehow. Um, so, you know, measure twice, cut once. Uh, I didn't follow that advice. Uh, second thing is I got a bad finish because um, I, I tried grinding them down to shape with the coarse grinding disc, uh, almost like almost trying to sculpt them to the right shape, uh, which just doesn't really work. Um, so uh, another thing, I just attached a, an LED, but I couldn't get it to light. Uh, so I got a jewel thief off of Amazon basically to fix that. So once I had put together my first version, I visited a local hilltop park. Um, there's not a lot of wind here, so I tried to give myself the best chance. Um, then, you know, it turned, but the LEDs weren't lighting up, even on the jewel thief. So after that, I went home, I researched uh, pipe blade designs. Uh, I've included a few links that I found particularly helpful with this video. And I made my version 2 blades. So the improvements I made in version 2 were that I got the... This time I got the trailing and the leading edges the right way around. Uh, I made straighter cuts, so instead of using a coarse grinding wheel, I used the thin cutting wheel and just went for a direct cut. Um, yes, another tip I found from one of the links is to round the leading edge and sharpen the trailing edge to basically get it closer to an aerofoil shape, uh, which is ultimately what we're trying to achieve with the, the quarter of a pipe. Uh, another thing was more tapered towards the ends. So my initial blades, I didn't take enough, I didn't, I didn't take enough off the width, basically. Um, another thing was a better angle. So I looked at the, the equations in one of the links and realized that a shallower angle would be better. And just, and purely by accident, you want the angle to decrease even further, the further you get from the hub. So when I made my blades, there's a slight twist in them. That's just the way they came out, uh, which happened to be the right twist. It went the right way for me. Uh, yeah, and I guess only needs two bowls, doesn't need three. So I, you'll notice I realigned the holes to, to change the angle. Um, yeah, then I took it out. I uh, didn't even have to go up on top of a hill this time. Just went out the front of the house and worked perfectly. So the blades, it's all down to the blades. Once you get the blades right, you're, you're sucking diesel. So yeah, and finally, it even collapses down for storage and transport. You can store the blades inside the, the backing pipe. So yeah, that's it. Um, hope you liked the video. Um, I hope I'm in with a shot of winning that 3D printer. Uh, I'll put it to good use, I promise.